microphone. I've had this a couple times. I'm just getting the hang of it, so if I can't hear me or if you can't hear me, then just tell me. Um, but um, good morning. I'm really glad I was able to come here today. Um, it's a school day, and it's, I'm a senior this year. I'm Addison here. Let me start with that. I'm Addison. I'm a senior here um, that goes to North Point High School in Southern Maryland. Um, I'm a part of the Engineering CTE program, which is actually a very, very interesting program because I get a lot of different experience with a lot of different types of engineering fields. So in my freshman year, I worked with doing isometric drawings and technical drawings. Going into my sophomore year, I did more physics. So I've been through two physics classes, actually. I did my normal physics and now I'm doing physics C this year. So a bunch of calculus, a bunch of math. I did, I practiced with MATLAB coding. So I'm working on a bunch of different coding. But I think one of the things that I found interesting was material science and the other sort of science classes that I've taken. And I think that part of it has helped me realize the importance of things like environmental engineering. So I think that might be a way I might want to go, but obviously uh, I'm applying to schools now. Don't really quite know the engineering path I want to take, but going to conferences like these and being a part of a community like YRCP has really helped open my eyes to the environmental issues and to, and to the things that I want to take care of in the world of engineering. And for me, that's part of the reason why I joined YRCP. I felt like I wanted to make a difference and I wanted to serve in some type of capacity. And I feel like becoming an engineer, being able to construct the world, being able to take it by my own hands and do something with it, is the perfect opportunity to give back to the community that helped raise me. So that's just a little bit about me. Um, more about the organization. We are YRCB, me, Dante, Isaiah, and a bunch of other youth from across Charles County and Prince George's County. We make up the Young Researchers Community Project. And the Young Researchers Community Project is, is what it is. We are youth that are around the county that we meet fairly regularly, but we are committed to the idea of promoting a healthier lifestyle within our community. We feel that people in our community, we don't have to wait until we're adults to be able to affect change. That's why we're going around, it's not only just high schools in the county, I'm from North Point. We have other people from Thomas Dunn and St. Charles, as well as the College of Southern Maryland. But we also meet with middle school children that we own, that we know, and that are also some of ours. So we're trying to get a broad perspective so we can affect change on a lot of different levels. Um, YRCP, we like to use the acronym FEEN to sort of describe the way we like to tackle things. That's F E E N. Um, that's going off of fitness, the environment, economics, and nutrition. So for anybody that's interested in YRCP, anyone in the area, you have a specific interest, YRCP will be it. For example, for fitness, we, um, we hold a 5K each year in honor of Chris Romeo Basunda. He was actually an alumni of Tom Stone in Charles County who passed away during 9-11. So it's not only a good way to honor him and what he's done for our country, but to get people up and moving and inspire them to walk. Um, and then we also have the environmental gardens at Thomas Stone. We have three different gardens at Thomas Stone. We have three different courtyards with a bunch of different herbs and plants that we like to plant. Um, we hold a Earth Day event too at Thomas Stone, so we go there, we do a little bit of beautification, but we also clean up the trash that are on trails, and then we um, take care of the gardens a little bit more as well. And if you do like to sell, obviously business is a huge part of it. So if you do like the economic side of things, of the environment, we have a nature revival line that we're going to hear more about soon that basically we are actually selling some of these herbs and plants that we are making and we're trying to do it all in the fact that they have traditional and medicinal value to you. So um, you'll hear more about that from here and then on our website as well. And then for nutrition, we love to talk about the idea of eating rainbow. We feel that having a diet that is super colorful gives you a lot of different access to a lot of different nutrition. So we do a fun little skit called um, we did the, um, who was the song? It was a Fresh Prince of Ballet. We did a nice little period of it. <laughs> we'll have to tell you that sometime. But it's basically the idea of eating a cornucopia. So you gotta get all your different greens and vegetables and fruits. Ourselves go out and not only recognize these issues, but take a stand on them in terms of policy, getting things changed or rewritten, so that we ourselves can take ownership of our own community. So we have YCP, we like to talk about it through two different angles. We like to talk about it through the food side and the um, water side as well. For food, we what is surprising to me, what I've learned so far through YCP is that even, I go to North Point, which is a fairly new school, and there's a lot of great children there, but I feel what is surprising to hear is that even though, despite that, there is a population actually over the summer 
uh, over the last summer actually, I was actually working with the health department. Um, I was going around to different beach locations and sampling the water because in Charles County, we actually have not had yet, up until then, we hadn't had a baseline study of the water. And um, the Chesapeake Bay is an incredibly, incredibly important water system for us, not only for our nutritional value and for the environment, but it's also a source of the economy for us. Being able to sell all that seafood and being able to use that bay for certain other reasons, if we protect that bay, then we're protecting the entire infrastructure of the place we live in Southern Maryland. So we feel that is especially important. And as Isaiah's gonna talk about a little bit later, one of our main focuses with that that covers both the food and the water is the idea of oyster farming. So these oysters are not only able to filter out some of the old dirty water in the bay, but they're also a good source of food for some people as well. But the way we try to describe it, environmental justice at all silence is a super complicated topic. The way we like to do it with kids is we like to do it through a skit. So I've actually worked really hard on writing the script for our Nature's Nights campaign. So our idea is that we want cavaliers of nature. We want to raise these children and grow up seeing some idols that they can follow so they can go out on themselves doing power. So we have two nights actually that represent food and water security, like I was talking about earlier. Um, and it's a nice little skit. We have children on a playground and these meet these knights, and then we have children that are able to go up and actually interact with these knights and be able to ask them questions. And we have demonstrations that we can do to show them not only the issues in our community, but have them feel comfortable speaking up and speaking to us first so they can speak to others about it later and feel empowered to go out their community. And that is something I feel especially powerful and strong about in my community as well, because, like I said, I am youth, and I feel like as youth empowering more youth, I feel like we can create a community of young people that can effectively create change. Like, we don't have to wait. And we don't have to wait when we see those issues right now pertaining to the environment. So that's something I feel especially strong about. Um, that's my story, and we're gonna play our first video from another person, it's Shannon's video. She's gonna 